talk about how to play violin if you have really tiny hands. Now that's me, I have small hands. But over the years I've actually developed my hand until I can stretch my left hand almost a half of an inch more than I can my right hand just because I've worked so much on it over the years. So let me give you some tips and tricks on what I've done. First off, if you have small hands, make friends with your thumb. Your thumb position can really help you with your stretches here. So if your thumb's all the way back here, you're basically hanging out your third and finger out to dry. Good luck doing really difficult stretches because you're fighting against your thumb. So maneuver your thumb till it's more like across from the second or third finger, and that's gonna kind of split that stretch. Now when I've got a tricky fourth finger stretch, I might even move my thumb up even more. That really helps me get a much bigger stretch. And that can be temporary. I might move my thumb up just to get a big stretch and then move it back down. You can also use your elbow to help you with stretches. So if you've got a big stretch, just move your elbow up a little bit. That's gonna maneuver your hand so that your fingers are actually a little bit closer to the fingerboard. So that helps. And the other thing to help with stretches is also to think about the stretch coming from down here. Don't think about just the stretch coming between each individual finger. Think about your hand kind of widening from the knuckles and that will help you get that stretch a lot. Of course, you also definitely need to be doing stretches when you start. That's gonna help warm up your hand and kind of avoid any injuries that you might happen to get experience when you're doing these really big stretches. So make sure you stretch, make sure you do your scales. That's all gonna really help you get a nice, comfortable stretch if you have small left-hand fingers.